Let's see some applications about conduction in our daily life. Firstly, it's about the feelings. When we touch the metal, usually we'll feel cool. Do you know that it's not related to the temperature change and the temperature difference? For example, if we touch the metal and the wood in the same room, suppose they have the same temperature because of the thermal equilibrium. However, when we touch the metal, the heat loss by conduction is faster. Then, when we touching the wood, less heat loss by conduction. So usually in the same room, even they have the same tem same room temperature, but we will feel cold when we touch the metal. And for the poor conduction of heat through air, it's very useful for us to design some items that can help to keep us warm. Because air is a poor conductor of heat, so it is good insulator. So polystyrene from the plastic, which have a lots of small air space inside, is very good to insulate heat. Cotton wool and other items are also trapped air. Animals with fur or feathers will also trap air inside to keep them warm. We have double window, double wall. We can trap a layer of air inside so that it can keep away the heat transfer through conduction. And when we design some cooking utensils, for the fine pans, usually we made up of metal, let's say copper or aluminium or even iron. However, when we make the handle, we will choose to use some poor conductor so that the heat will not transfer to your hand and make us burn. And for conduction in some industry, for the pipes that's used to carry liquids with very high temperature or very low temperature, we will add an insulating material on the surface of the pipe in order to prevent the heat exchange some common insulating material used in industry are expanded polystyrene, foam rubber, fiberglass, and cotton wool.